More than half of Zimbabwe's population will need food aid this year, the country's cabinet heard late on Tuesday. That's after a devastating drought that led to widespread crop failure. According to the Zimbabwe Livelihoods Assessment Committee, 6 million people in rural areas and 1.7 million in urban areas will require assistance. The country is among the worst hit by the El Nino-induced drought in southern Africa. The government says it is the worst drought in 40 years. The latest crop assessment put maize production down by 77% in the 2023 to 2024 summer season. Zimbabwe has also failed to feed itself since 2000, when former President Robert Mugabe led land reforms which disrupted production. Climate change has made matters worse. Last month, a local consortium of private millers said it is planning to import 1.4 million metric tons of white and yellow maize from Brazil and other countries to cover the food deficit. President Emerson Mnangagwa has appealed for $2 billion in food aid. Meanwhile, the United Nations and the UN's Children's Fund are also calling for financial assistance to save millions from hunger. A landslide has left several people unaccounted for in central Kenya, Kenya Red Cross has said. The incident occurred in Kamende Escarpment, in part of the country hit by recent heavy rains. The Red Cross said in a social media post late on Tuesday that its personnel are responding. Joseph Gitau is the cousin of one of the people said to have been trapped. There were four people all together and three of them were slightly ahead of the other one who was behind. Unfortunately, the soil covered them all. Another resident said he saw a motorbike rider caught by the landslide. The Red Cross said no deaths have yet been confirmed. Heavy rains and floods in Kenya since late March have killed at least 289 people and displaced 285,600, according to the latest government statistics.